Good evening, everybody. Eternal Games Cross Anime 99 back with another video. And as of right now, the Dell May Cry 5 PS4 demo is out today for everyone else to enjoy. Since we've been getting a lot of trailers of this fantastic game that Hideki Itsuno and Matt Baker, I think that's his producer's, that's the producer's name and his partner, have been working on this for so long that it is becoming an amazing, noticeable franchise. And so this is going to be the same demo as. Everyone at New York Comic Con in October played, and it's, it hasn't changed, but, you know, for people who haven't played it and seen it on Xbox, I'm pretty sure everybody who has got the Xbox One already played the demo, so there were some lucky bastards who got it, and the people who didn't kind of felt disappointed. Now, it's available for PS4 as well, so I just want to make like a quick video about like, you know, playing this awesome ass franchise of a game before it comes out in March 8th. And no house I if the reason why I use you see the word continued is because I actually played the game like about five damn times. And the fact that I did that so I can remember about Nero's basic standard gameplay, his fighting, his gunshots, everything. Especially his devil breaker, which I can't really like accomplish when I'm grabbing the demons. In Xbox One I was able to do it. But it looks like in this one, it's not really happening, so I'm trying to figure this shit out as I play the demo. Let's get right on it. But like I said, it's the same thing as they showed in Germany at Gamescon in 2018, and same in Comic-Con. Nothing changed, so don't get ahead of yourself. But I would say enjoy yourself. Hell, at that time, I was like representing Capcom as dressing up as Nero. That's it. No more wheels from here. All right, guess I'm walking then. Yo, yo, yo. Check it out. What? And this is? From Morrison. I think it's his manifesto. For the PS4, not a tough one. When I hear that little tune, it's so chilling and relaxing. I would like to dance with someone with that tune. Yeah, this shows up, like, it doesn't show up when you first start it. Because I played this a dozen times that I can just customize whatever the fuck I want now. So, in the meantime, I'm just doing this for me. So, for those of you who haven't seen it and who haven't played the demo right away, let me just tell you how to customize. So, the only way to buy Devil Breakers is obviously using the red orbs. That's what it means to have cash for Nico. Which is the best waifu, Nico's best waifu. The only way to purchase these Devil Breakers that Nero may need in order to face the demons is the cash, as in red orbs. At least it comes at a cheap price, but you know, spending money like this just to get some fucking arms is a pain in the ass. And without those arms, all you're gonna be doing is just slicing and dicing and shooting. That's it. You can't really, like, grab anybody or anything. You can grab demons, but you can't, like, do some special moves without these arms, so. Purchase as many as you want during your time in the game, because I know I will. And the skills, this is just like a taste of what's to come, so don't get ahead of yourselves. No one should. I just did this five times, and I'm still not quitting at this at this moment. So I just want to give a heads up. Alright. <clears throat> and if you know how to play this demo pretty well, chances are it's just going to be like a ten minute demo. So I might play this twice, so that way it won't feel like a bored demo. But it's a fun game. And thank god I have a PS4 because I'm not fucking remembering Xbox One's actions, like really now. I want to say it confused the fuck out of me, but I'm just not comfortable with Microsoft's Xbox One. That's all I gotta say. I was desperate to get the fucking Xbox One just to play the demo. But here we are. I know I keep talking a lot. I'll continue. Cut whatever's in my way, yep. We're smashing bases, we're smashing bitches. I just had to hear her talk. Nico's best waifu. Not bad. And they also... They also, um, fix the speed movement, too. So, whenever you have to, like, run, you don't need to purchase it like you did in, the, in Devil May Cry 4. It's easier for us. 
You can't cut everything, though. It's not like Mel Gear Rising, that way you can cut whatever's in your way. I can't cut balloons. Oh! Oh shit, I can cut balloons! Oh, I tried doing that for the last hour. Alright. <clears throat> Everyone should have fun with this. I'm getting I call in real life. Yeah, that's gonna cost you one arm if you have to hold the O button in order to unleash your double breaker. But you can't like grab the demons to do some like special combo or a power bomb. I gotta maybe because this is in under development and they're just showing the demo, only releasing the demo. In a city like this. There's something to this place. Yeah, it's like the writers from Ninja Theory decided to actually give. Hideki Itsuno, a bit of a heads up about how the city used to be like in their game to this game. Even though DMC Devil May Cry was not my favorite, I don't know why I platinum that game in the first place, but I did. Yeah, so I was actually representing Capcom and um, no, and near Comic Con, as I'm pretty sure you already saw me in my cosplay as Nero for Devil May Cry 4. Since this game was the head honcho of the con, everyone loved it. I was Ryu and Nero, so in a way I was cosplaying Capcom. Representing. Also what's fun and interesting is... Hold on, I'll, I'll get to it in a bit. Hell Kena. I have to see on my phone. Do you know what? Time to kick some ass. Sure you can though. Like I want to hear more of the music. So yeah, what's actually kind of interesting is around these scenes, when the time comes and you get to play the full game, I think in Without the Arms you could still see cutscenes of Nero talking or confronting these enemies with or without his devil arms. Which is a pretty interesting trait in my opinion. And maybe some people might get, not give a damn about that, but I may. Because, you know, like, I like to be an observant person when it comes to video games. Oh, since it's a demo, they had to, like, skip some places that they didn't want to show. Spoilers. Yeah. 
got a little something for you. Thank you, I am. I gotta hear this shit all over again. Oh yeah, okay, that, okay, that's another thing we gotta learn about that in the game. That when you try to use your ultimate, but then they stop you from using it, that would, um, automatically will destroy your arm. So you gotta be careful how you time it right. I guess they'll show you the tutorial. Not, no, no, no tutorials. They'll probably just show you, like, the game controls right here in front of you. You can always say turn it off and then turn it right back on. I'll just keep it on just for my sake. But damn, it looks pretty good. I'm getting really sick of this stupid tree. Woohoo! So yeah, I will play this like a million times just for my own amusement. Until I get bored of it and want to play the real deal. Now I'm getting the first day it shows up. Okay, he's dead. And the funny and what sucks is that I don't know. Even if the game is still under development, I just want to know: Can I just switch the arms at the full game when it comes out? That instead of me like destroying one another just to get a new arm, I want to like switch my arms. You know, that's what I want to do. Even though I will be cosplaying probably this Nero in Devil May Cry 5 and uh, the next time I come. Because I kind of like his design. And that coat looks really fucking cool. I have those real pants, those real boots. This, I have the sword, but you know. The robotic arm... I mean, I will keep the devil arm just to make a meme out of it. And then the second one will be a robotic arm just to make another meme. Yeah, you saw- wait, did I skip that? No, I didn't. By the way, how this ugly infected egg looks, it looks like a cockroach's fetus. Like, look at that. Oh my god. Ugh. I don't know, I thought it looked like a cockroach's fetus. Gross. I don't know what a cockroach's fetus looks like. Probably hatched an egg, but it would definitely look like that. And I don't want to think about it. Not gonna lie, this new arm is pretty sweet. Oh yeah, the taunts. Let me see. I see his taunts. Come on. What'd you say? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Got a weird face recognition, but it's it's good. It's good. Shall we dance? Ah, I missed that when they said that don't cry for. Ah, they bring it back. What'd you say? Try and get a little close up. Come on. And let some kind of like white David Archuleta looking motherfucker. Ah. Man, to my phone. 
Guess the phone still works. Took you long enough, dumbass. What happened to the third ring roll? <laughs> you call me from now on, and I'll hustle on over. You know she got you covered, asshole. <laughs> I love how Nico always shows over just to give me some supplements. Now, I'm, now it all makes sense of how that trailer became to be, though, about why that van was, like, running over the obstacle. Because of that. Yo. Don't make cry. We represent. I'm representing them. I'm not copywriting them. I'm just, like, feel like I want to, like, give them my wholehearted appreciation and their attention because you know without them this game would never begin to be or without Hideki Atsuno this game would never be alive at this time wait do I have enough but this theme though oh man it's so groovy like I would dance with any chick with this theme you need anything else is that, yeah, is that she already has it on her. But I am thinking about getting the Deluxe Edition, like, really, I am. So I want to get the Mega Man arm. I want to get all types of arms just to make it look fun and look cool. In the coming videos. And because I love DMC. Who doesn't? Who shouldn't? You should give the first game a try? No, give the third game a try. Then play the first. Most people actually just play the third game and just not bother with the first. Or the fourth. But I also heard some info that people are saying... Or in a YouTube video, they're saying that Devil May Cry 2 takes place after, no, before 4. So after Devil May Cry 2, then it's Devil May Cry 4, which I thought it was the other way around. Doesn't make any sense. Thank you, Nico. Yeah, that's a, that's a pad button. Because it almost looked like Dante is a little older and yeah, pr practically 4, but in number 2, he looks a little more, looks a little older in 2 than in 4. Like, a little boring. All right, boss fight. All right, had enough. Somebody call a doctor? You I wasn't expecting any survivors. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. Hey, you happen to see a guy around here, about this big, uses a cane? I was supposed to meet him. Did you snack on him? Your blood is a very precious sacrifice. Eating you would do me no good. I must have every last drop to rule the underworld as king. <laughs> King? You? I don't know. I mean, you're a big guy and all, but you seem more like a knuckle-scrapping fart in the wind than anything else. Uh, no offense. I do. I feel like for the sake of Monster Hunter World, they should add Goliath as a DLC monster. And we get to fight him and fuck him up for part. I think that's what they should do. Like a collaboration. Whoop. 
Jack it up all you want. Yeah, I gotta learn how to dodge most of the time. I don't want to be a part of that. Oh, I destroyed it. I fucked up. I fucked up. Hey, look, I got one. Yeah, I'm gonna get more uh, green on Hold on. He has a birthday. Oh shit. You can You talking about my daddy? Hello? Yeah. Um, no, we do not. That's fine, I already have Cookie Crisp and S'mores. Well, I don't have more Cinnamon Toast Crunch. If you want to buy another, that's fine. I mean, we have S'mores and Cookie Crisp, but if you want to buy Honey Nut Cheerios, I don't mind. No, that's fine. I, no, I don't want no Cookie Krispies. Just the Honey Nut Cheerios, if they have it. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Alright, cool. Yeah, I was just talking to my mom about like what cereal I should get. Yes, Del May Cry is back. Back and looking better than ever. But I will get the deluxe edition, not digitally, physically. Because I know a good place where I can get it early before the day ever comes. I'm not telling you, you're just gonna have to wait. So I'll play this one more time and then that'll be the end of it. If you take your time with it, it could be like a 10 minute or 15 minute demo if you're just, you know, messing around with it. I'm just getting used to the game. I just want to get to know the game as much as I can before I get to the real deal. But then when it, once it's complete, you're probably not going to forget most of your control gimmicks. But then there's some that you want to, like, really do. Hopefully for Devil Breakers, oh, I just want to toss some bitch around. I don't mean real life bitches. I mean, like, fucking demon bitches. That's all. <laughs> That's it. No more wheels from here. Yeah, we already saw it. I just had to say the Mwah part because it just sounds kind of cool. I don't know. So we're just gonna do this one more time. Same thing. Same how. And whenever you like, yeah, finish the game in the demo, they just save your shit within the demo. But I think once you get the real deal, I don't think you have to like worry about it anymore. And all the stuff that you had and chalked up to this point. I don't know if they'll put that in the real game. It's a demo, so there's no need. Probably might as well start all over and have fun. But I'm gonna avoid YouTube as you see more things, because I already spoiled myself enough as it is. What I just want to know is that, like, is Virgil your reason? Meaning, like, the king? 
I've just seen like four trailers of the game. We're thinking that the Demon King could be either Virgil or maybe Mundus, but maybe since Virgil got, you know, his Yamato back, that was like Nero's devil arm inside that thing. Like, that is one thing I couldn't understand. I just wish that he didn't have to like rip up his arm, which is hilarious, but in a way, I felt like he could have kept the devil arm, just took out the Yamato from within, and give it back to daddy. Even if he didn't know that was his dad. He, I don't even know if Dante knows his brother's been resurrected back again. I know the same voice of Virgil has come back. They said that, so I want to hear it. Around those videos, I will comment everything and say a lot of shit. I'm going to be just as surprised. Hopefully there's not the last element for again. Really. There's going to be a lot of demons, I can tell. And I want to play Dante so badly because he has a lot more weapons than just Nero. Except from Double Arm. Wait, hold on. I'm like, I'm used to Dante's theme right now, so if you guys hear it and might think it's shit, then the I cannot disagree with you. Like this. Okay, that is one demon I never faced. Oh god, that looks horrible. Oh. No, I don't mind hearing Devil Trigger all the damn time. Really, I don't. No. I don't want to destroy all of Nero's arms, like really. I really don't. It's a good thing that the director actually signed my papers and was like really like in my arm. Like he was actually a nice fellow, trust me. Maybe like one of my broadcasts I might show you a picture of him. I mean not to not to like um speed around the bush or try to like show off, no, because I like Capcom's like games and I represent like what they got and what they own. I just wanna like show you, like obviously an amazing director like him was actually chill about signing a lot of people's um art. And you know, being totally chill about like giving a handshake or a hug or so. Fuck, I'm fucking up. See, they show off this whole thing, but you cannot slice it. You can, but they want to move on up to the next floor because they don't want to spoil anything. Like, you see this right here? You can't go. Not yet. Not until we get a full game. Now, come on, give me a little peek. You dip the demo up, so at least I'm going to get a little peek of the whole place. I won't say anything. They will, but I won't. Nah, I can't cut a couch. Fuck it. Ooh. Okay, okay. Yep, yep. That's the danger. I gotta remember about that. The Johnny Young Busters is a good shit. Can't 
Come on. Uh, that face is selfish. It's hilarious. Really sick of this stupid tree. Oh, don't worry. Once you see your daddy, you won't have to worry about it anymore. And I also want to hear the next song that they also have. That Hyde, who is a musical artist, has played many songs for a lot of animes. He's also been working with a band called Vamp, which is a Japanese band, rock band, and it's amazing. He also has a new song as well. So I hope to actually see it. And hear it. Not just Double Trigger, just something else. I mean, I don't mind V's song too. I would love to play as V as well, and I love his song as well. It's just, it's not my song, you know? Not even Dante's. But I'm used to it. Ah, no more Double Trigger. See, once you reach all- Well, finish the demo, I mean. I'm pretty sure for this mission, this will be like mission number two. Because in Devil May Cry, they most likely have the first boss in like, it's in chapter two. Mission two of their own game, or mission three. Like Devil May Cry 1, mission three, first boss. Devil May Cry 2. Uh, I think it was... I forget what happened. Actually, I don't fuck about fuck Devil May Cry 2. Sorry, Devil May Cry 3. Your first boss was a uh, well, either the Grim Reaper mission two, Grim Reaper, and mission three, the Cerberus, and then Devil May Cry 4, first boss, Burial. Well, of course, the first boss was Dante, but you know, still. Ah! Bye. I was recording. Thank you. Wait, hold on. Oh, by the way, I ate. Not gonna lie. This new arm is pretty That's why John Young Bosch, amazing actor. The the best. The hell. If I would have sewed up in my near outfit and he sees me, I better if I will be cool to see if he can give me a voicing with my cell phone and no problems. Eh, gotta answer Nico's phone because I love her. I guess the phone still works. Took you long enough, dumbass. What happened? <laughs> yeah, it took you long enough, dumbass. Yeah, I gotta customize my shit, so fuck it. There's no such thing as too prepared. This has to be episode two, maybe. And my guess it could be like chapter three or chapter two of the of this whole game, or mission two, or mission three. I don't know. I'm just gonna put that. Yeah, all of these are just taste. Wait, how many can I buy? Yeah, I buy like, yeah, more of those. Why does that be one though? Well, they're, they're the same shit. Once you break one, you always gotta get a new one. And of course, as a spoiler, as they already showed in YouTube, that in the Dome Cry 5 opening, that Nico is apparently Agnes's daughter. That fucking speech impediment demon who Dante already fucked up hilariously. I'm sorry for like putting spoilers out there, but I just have to say it because like in the opening, it kind of spoiled itself. And... We're pretty much gonna know who Nico, um, about what her origin is. So I just want to put it out there that that is Agnes's daughter. I don't know what happened to the mom. Maybe we'll find out. Somebody call a doctor. Maybe I should not skip it, but then again, you can see the demo anytime once you download it. Yeah, maybe I will. Sorry, I'm about to kill you. Yeah. I 
I took a lot. I took the white rice in the pot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, not the one in the back. I'm in the one in the front. Sorry. That's what I mean. I took a lot of steak, too. And the beans. Press that one to destroy. Yep, destroy an arm. I guess it's that sorry, Nico, for like destroying your precious arm. Shut the fuck up. Okay, I deserve that. Because it would be effective. How's that? Oh god, I don't look right when I'm trying to whip it on him. That's the same thing with Burial, except, you know, I think the Goliath could be 10 times fun and 10 times as strong. If you know how to get around them, but... Like that every end of a mission will always have a crack in the hole, a crack in the screen, and I like that. I mean, I miss the ones that Dante and Nero always had, but this one, you know, seems a little more comfortable. You don't mind that, all right? So, I guess that's the end of the Don't Cry 5 demo. It's gonna be like the same thing. Hope you guys probably much enjoyed it. I tried to explain as much as I could, considering if I did make any sense about it. I'm not trying to spoil myself any further than I already have, but. It's an amazing game, as I give like Capcom credit for, and the Hideki Itsuno and Matt Baker, and all the other representatives and employees of Capcom working on this project. I can't wait to play them. Can't wait to play Dante, V, we already had a good taste of Nero, but we haven't got the full spiel yet, so hopefully you guys will enjoy this demo to the bitter end until we get to March 8th for everyone to share. And for those YouTubers out there who make it before us, I'm not going to spoil myself anymore to see. 
I'll give my ending my own way before anything else. So, hope you guys enjoy. I did say I might want to record Tales of Asperia as well, but I might either record it with my voice or not my voice. It all depends on me. So, I might like do it either no comments or maybe with my voice. So, stick around for more, and I'll see you guys later on.